Welcome to the STARS program, seniors taking active roles in society. And now, here's your host, Anita Finley. This is the Lake Worth Playhouse. If you have not been to any of their shows, boy, are you missing out. Not only, they're so spectacular. And it isn't one of those theaters that you go to and you say, gee, this is all actors' equity. It's not. It's a community theater, but boy, it is so good. And and we're so happy that Justin Hare is on the line to tell us all about it. So Justin's the marketing manager of the Lake Worth Playhouse. Well, good good morning. Good morning. How are you, Anita? I'm doing great, thank you. And boy, do you have a lineup coming uh, starting with October. I'm just so excited. I can't wait to see it. Oh, yes, indeed. We're getting ready to kick off with Sister Act here. The, I know uh, you are. show of the actual <laughs> season. Uh, I can't, uh, I mean, that's going to be the show of all shows on that stage. Well, one of them, I think Gypsy's going to do really well, too. We've got that coming up in January, and, you know, everybody loves Gypsy. Yes, I know. So it's, it's going to be a tough call. We'll see what the uh, numbers <laughs> are in. Okay, so do you really have um, five nuns, I'm sorry, ten nuns? We do. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, you really are. No, no, but they're not real nuns, right? You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. <laughs> well, okay. So tell me how they have to prepare. Do they have to know what nuns really do? Well, they do really get into character, yes. Um, and uh, believe it or not, a couple of the uh, cast members themselves actually went to Catholic school growing up. So they've got a very. <laughs> good understanding of, you know, the operations and, and how to live the life. Yeah, okay. So tell me how, now, who's the one who decides what shows are going to be shown for the for the season? Well, ultimately, that's Daniel, our artistic director. He uh, plays a big part in that. But every year, we do a audience survey to get ideas from the audience as to what they would like to see. So we, uh, of course, get a, a good list going, and then we have everybody take the survey, and we tally them up, and the best of the best gets chosen for that season. Okay, but then there are sometimes they choose something where it requires too many actors or the scenery has to be you know, too involved. So how do you think about that? Well, we usually do a pretty good job at getting all the roles filled, but there are um, some actors that do play dual roles in some of our productions, and uh, that's how we make it happen is everybody works hard and they pull a little extra weight, and we pull the shows off one way or another. Yeah, you do. So, okay, so do you sleep at night before a show, <laughs> or do you worry? <laughs> well, um Daniel gets a lot of worry, that's for sure. Like I said, he, he does a lot of the, the work there behind the uh, scenes and with the actors and the productions of all of our shows. Uh, but, yeah, up, in, up until our actual opening night, we're all kind of on our toes, you know, in anticipation for the opening. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Okay, so why don't you, maybe for people who haven't ever been to your theater, talk about what it's like talk about um you know the time because it's seven thirty. is it is it eight o'clock all the time eight isn't it eight o'clock well we have we have the 8 p.m shows uh shows run thursday through sunday and there's a 8 p.m on thursday friday and saturday and on sunday saturday and sunday there's also a 2 p.m matinee oh that's good so you cover all the bases for anybody who needs to see it and they can't get there yes. and the mm -hmm. other thing that i've noticed is now lake worth the whole the whole street is busy, busy, so it's fun. There's all sorts of restaurants and things going on, so it's not just going to the theater. You can go before, you can go after. It's a full night out, yep. We do do lots down here in this little town. Yeah, it's a small town, but you do a lot. It's right, because I remember Lake Worth, that whole area was not very much. You know, your theater was there, and you went to the theater, then you went home. But yeah. that's not what it's happens now. Grown. Yeah, it has. Okay, so why don't you give us a rundown of all the shows that you've got slated for this year? Right. Well, we've got a lot. I'm going to start off with the okay. main season. Uh, we also have some black box and some limited engagements, a, a lot of great stuff that I'm sure you folks are going to be ready in anticipation to hear. But we're starting off in a few short weeks, October 3rd through the 20th, with Sister Act. 
Then we've got our holiday special, Inspecting Carol, coming November 14th through December 1st. And bringing in the new year, we've got Gypsy, January 16th through February 2nd. Followed up with Witness for the Prosecution by Agatha Christie. That's uh, the end of February, February 27th to March 15th. And then our finale for this season is Annie, the all-time classic favorite, April 9th through 26th. Um, our black box, that also opens um, a few weeks following our main season. Um, we have a lot of great shows over there this year as well. Uh, we're doing a play called Lungs by Duncan Macmillan. It's an interesting two-character play based on a conversation between a couple that spans a lifetime. It'll be performed in an intimate 53-seat Stanzik Studio Theater, and that's opening on October 17th and runs through the 27th. Another great thing we've got to throw at you is we're doing another radio theater series this year. We're going to kick that off with Dracula, the radio play, based on the 1938 Mercury Radio Theater production by Orson Welles. And our radio plays recreate the feel of an old-time radio studio, complete with live sound effects and actors playing multiple roles with scripts in hand. And that's coming in the beginning of November. Where do you so do that? The in the actual theater? We do that next door in the Stanzik over in our Black Box Theater. I see. And and so, so that's, yeah, that's that's a new idea. I think that people are going to love that. So they see yeah, the well, actors doing this? They love it, yes. Yep, the Black Box, you know, are smaller roles. This, this one uh, only has a couple of roles, but we do everything in the Black Box. There's 53 seats over there. And in our main stage, we have 300 seats in the house. A mm, hundred seats. That's that's very intimate. That's very nice. Why do you call it a black box? I'm sorry? Why do you call it a black box? Uh, for the size and, and the uh, aspect of the venue. You know, it's small and intimate. It's uh, not a lot of scene changes. It's usually just one scene, and the actors work around that. I see. So let's just uh, talk about this a minute. I want you to go back to um, to each one of the shows. For people who who don't know what Sister Act is about, can you just give us a rundown a little bit? I mean, I see all the nuns in the picture. Yeah, well, okay, what Sister Act is, it's a feel-good musical comedy based on the smash hit of 1992 film with Whoopi Goldberg that has audiences jumping to their feet. We've got original music by Tony and eight, the Tony and eight-time Oscar Award winner Alan Rankin. And uh, it's an uplifting musical nominated for five Tony Awards, including the best musical. And uh, disco diva Dolores Van Cartier witnesses a murder. She put, she's put into protective custody in one of the places the cops are sure she won't be found. And that's in a <laughs> coven. She's disguised as a nun, and she finds herself at odds with both the rigid lifestyle, the upright mother superior, it's filled with powerful gospel music, outrageous dancing, and a truly moving story. It has audiences breathless and a sparkling tribute to the universe power of friendship. Hmm. It's just like the movie I saw, I guess, right? It's, uh, oh, the, yeah. It's, gonna yep. be, it's one thing right to do it that. as a movie, but to do it in live, that's pretty uh, enormous. Indeed. And so that was Whoopi Girl Goldberg that did the Sixth Sister Act, wasn't it? Yes. Uh-huh. So do Absolutely you have an African American right. as the lead? We do. <laughs> okay. I don't know where you find these people. Well, we do open auditions. Uh we do our auditions. The community's welcome to come out and try and there's a lot of great local talent out there and uh, you know, the responses are great. So anybody that's interested or has some background in acting, you know, they can come down for one of our auditions. We always post our upcoming auditions on our website, lakeworthplayhouse.org. And uh, the next set of auditions will actually be for Gypsy. We're doing that October 20th. Okay. Uh, actually, October 20th and October 29th. Huh. So, <clears throat> that, so people, they don't have to have any experience and they come for a tryout? Well, they, they need some. Um, we do offer acting classes, uh, many different classes, actually, and uh, that helps with dancing, acting, singing, 
you name it. Um, but yeah, you know, um, there are oftentimes where uh, people getting a fresh start into acting do pick up the roles, and um, you know, so it's always a possibility. We encourage everybody to come out and audition. I see. And maybe you'll find some talent, and they didn't even know they were a talent, right? Right. We'll help bring the star out. <laughs> That's right. what we're here for. Yeah, well, it's, it is amazing to me, though, that the, the people are so talented when I go to the shows, and I never miss a show. I do wonder where you find them, because they, all, they are all local, aren't they? You don't go up to New York and bring them in, do you? No, we don't. Nope. So you're really, you know, you really do... A great job there. And now, of course, when you start looking at having 10 stars, now there must be other people in the show, too. Those are just the nuns. Because as I recall, the sister act, you know, there are a lot of other people involved. There's, I guess, the bad people, the one that wanted to break down the church, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So when you do you go to the shows? What happens when you go to a show? Do you sit there on pins and needles? <laughs> Oh, it's it's very captivating. Yes, it's very, uh, you know, you're sitting there waiting for the next scene. Right. And they do a fabulous job from, from the production to the lights and the, uh, the music as well. I mean, it's just all around a great experience. Yeah, that's right. You just brought up something. So you have light lighting, you have set design, you have wonderful volunteers. Maybe it's a good time for us to talk about volunteers too because there are people who would love to see the shows, and this way they get to be a volunteer. And your volunteers are very, very polite, I must tell you that. Are you in charge of the volunteers? Uh, no, um, actually that uh, is something that the box office manager, Judith, takes care of. I see. Uh, and she's always always looking for volunteers. We always need help with concessions, with seating, uh, ushers. So if anybody's interested in that, they can always reach out to her, Judith, at LakeWorthPlayhouse.org. Okay. Right, right. So, okay, so that's what we're going to do. You know, uh, we're just going to go there, and if you want to be a volunteer, you can get in touch with them, but just go and enjoy it. Now, I wanted to talk about, because we put this in the September issue about divas, and of course that's September the 12th, I believe, right? Yeah, no, 14th, September oh, the, the 14th. 14th, this Saturday. Yes, yes. this Saturday, on stage, right. Celebration of the 70s and 80s. So, so what is it? It's uh, the celebration of the 70s and 80s. That's the theme for this year, but it's our annual uh, preseason fundraiser event. It's a great night of comedy, dancing, singing, just having a good time and kicking off our brand new season. But it, it is on, on stage. Yes, oh, absolutely. And so who so you have people who play. I see where it says with performances by <clears throat> Daisy Deluxe, <laughs> Melissa St. John, Lupita, Hollywood and and Vast Love Montana. Vasti Love Montana, right? Uh yes. So it's a fundraising event and it's gonna be fun. Divas on stage is a great, great name. Okay, well, we're very, um, we're very happy that Lake Worth Herald works with us because we do work with some of the other theaters. But <clears throat> Lake, <clears throat> excuse me, Lake Worth Herald, I uh, mean, excuse me, Lake Worth Playhouse is actually, uh, it's an old place. You know, I mean, they tell about the history of it. I love when I go there. Oh yes, very. We're a very old building. Actually, we still have the original roof in the theater. And uh, it's actually the oldest building on the register of the Art Deco Society in Palm Beach County. Really? It was constructed by Lucen and Clarence Oakley. The two brothers came to South Florida from Illinois on the wave of the movie mania, sweeping the country in the early 1920s. The first theater that was here opened its doors November 3rd of 1924. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Very, very old building. Yes. Uh, unfortunately, though, on September 16th of 1928, a devastating hurricane ripped through our area, as some may remember, and virtually demolished uh, the theater. I didn't know that. A hurricane yes. did it. I don't know why I thought it was a fire. Well, a hurricane came and knocked us down, but uh, we reopened January 10th of 1929. 
and uh, that's the, the same roof that's still in the main theater today. So when you come in, take a look up. It's beautiful, uh, very captivating. So just take a minute and stare at that. Um, and on December 1st, 1953, the Lake Worth Playhouse was incorporated by a group of local Lake Worth citizens. Hmm. And uh, we've kept it running strong ever since then. Um, you know, uh, doing a lot with the uh, grants and help of the community that we get. Again, we're a nonprofit organization, so everything that we have, we thank our donors and uh, for their support and help as well as the community. Yes, I, I understand that. There's something else I need to tell you is that your little counter where you have food uh, to go, you know, you can eat. Look, at, it's very oh, nice. Yeah. It's lovely, and it's not very expensive. Uh, no, no, we keep the prices reasonable. <laughs> you know, we, we've got a full list of snacks, goodies, right. sodas, uh, right. wine, beer, you name it. I know it. So you come in and just enjoy the show. That's what we're here for. I know that. And that's, I think people like it. And I, I, it, I may be actually um, me, imagining this, but it seems like you're getting bigger crowds because I know the bathrooms can hardly get in there during the intermission <laughs> oh yeah yeah no we have actually we've been doing pretty good here uh, lately every show seems to be close to if not a packed house so right. we're drawing in the crowds and they're going out there and giving us rave reviews and telling their friends and keeping them coming through the door yep yeah i know that's true i i thought that was so and your seats are very comfortable the other thing is Unlike some of the newer theaters where you have to get up when someone wants to walk by you, you don't have to here. Oh, yeah, it's quite spacious. <laughs> it is. It means something when you're in a situation like that, really. So it's it's quite nice. Well, all right, so we talked about Sister Act. Talk about the next one. The one following that we have is Inspecting Carol. That's our uh, Christmas and what is okay? Story. What is that? Is that I don't I haven't heard of that, have I? Well, you've heard of the tradition of Christmas Carol, yes. haven't you? Yes. Okay, you ever heard of the government inspector? <laughs> so you. Well, this is Christmas Carol meets the government inspector. Oh my god! <laughs> a hilarious hit from Seattle. A man uh. who takes an audition in a small theater is mistaken for an informer for the National Endowment for the Arts. Everyone caters to the bewildered wannabe actor, and he's given a role in the current production, A Christmas Carol. Everything goes wrong, and it's hilarity upon hilarity. Yeah. It's definitely going to be a good one to see. Oh, and that's for Christmas, so it makes sense, right? Yes, yep. And like when does, when, when does that actually start, November or December? That's November 14th okay. through December 1st. Oh, okay, because that's then for Thanksgiving, too. It'll... Yes. Cover all that. All right. And then the next one. After that, we have Gypsy, the all-time favorite. And this is uh, regarded by many theater professionals as the greatest musical ever created. It's the ultimate tale of an ambitious stage mother fighting for her daughter's success while secretly yearning for her own. It's set across America in the 1920s when the... Uh, and for dying in burlesque was born. It's celebrated score by Jewel Stein and Stephen Sanheim. Boasts one glorious hit after another, including the hits Let Me Entertain You, Some People, You'll Never Get Away From Me, If Mama Was Married, and All I Need Is The Girl. Okay. And that is coming in January, <laughs> January 16th through February 2nd. Okay. And then for our kickoff to the spring, we have Agatha Christie's witness for the pros prosecution. And uh, Leonard Volt stands accused of murdering a rich widow. The stakes are high with a shocking witness testimony. Passion outbursts from the dock of a young man's fight to escape the hangman's noose. It's generally regarded as one of Agatha Christie's most accomplished plays. It's a suspenseful thriller that keeps audiences guessing until the very end. Oh, my. Okay. And last but not least right. is the all-time classic, Annie. And that's running April 9th through April 26th. And I'm sure everybody knows the story of Annie, but uh, it's a 
charming, heartfelt, despite the next to nothing start in 1930s New York. She's determined to find the parents who abandoned her years ago on the doorsteps of a New York City orphanage that is run by the cruel, bitter Miss Hannigan. With the help of the other girls in the orphanage, Annie escapes to the wonderful world of New York City. An adventure after fun-filled adventure, Annie foils Miss Hannigan's evil machinations. Even in befriend, I'm sorry, she even befriends President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. She finds a new home and a family with a billionaire, Oliver Warbucks. His personal secretary, Grace Farrell, and lovable mutt named Sandy. And that is the fifth and final production of our 2019-2020 season. Uh-huh. Now, how do you find Annie? How do you find a little girl like that with talent? Well. Because, we, I mean, she's uh, it. You have to find someone that's yeah, really you, good. You, you have to. You've got to hit all points on that. Right. I don't know. It might be a tough one, but uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to pull that off. You know, we, we've got uh, different audition dates for adults and children. Uh, with shows like that, there's so many roles, so we kind of split it up. And uh, so if you think you've got what it takes to be our next Annie, be sure to come out and audition for us. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Or have a midget, right? <laughs> a talented midget. <laughs> um, so you're, so you know, knowing theater a little bit, as I do, you're probably already working on next year. That is in the works. I can't give any spoilers away for that. No, um, I know. But we're, we're always, you know, working hard uh, in advance so that we can bring you the best productions in the area. Right. And so we ought to say something that I think is really important. This is less expensive than many, many other theaters. What basically are the ticket prices? Our ticket prices are uh, range from 29 to $35. That's pretty cheap, I'll tell you. That's, that's wonderful. And, uh, and by keeping the prices down, we hope that there'll be some sponsors out there. Because if you are a sponsor, you can actually sponsor the whole show. You know, for the, let's see, in other words, if you wanted Sister Act, you could sponsor that. Or, I mean, look, you could just donate money, too. But that's what theaters need. They never can cover their costs with d just the ticket sales, and especially at this price. So p we, we urge you out there, if you like what you see at Lake Worth Playhouse, then please consider uh, being a sponsor. I'm sure that, you know, that Justin... Justin Hare, who I'm talking with, of course, right now, would be more than happy to talk to you about what you can afford and, and what that'll get you, right? Absolutely. If anybody that's willing to contribute, always reach out, and uh, we'll be happy to answer any questions you might have. We've got uh, a lot of different sponsorship packages available, and um, we appreciate every everybody that uh, contributes. Yeah, I know you do. and And it's... Everybody is so helpful there, and the people love it. I forget what I what show I was just at last, you know, for this past year, and it was so well received. People all stood up and clapped at the end. They were so excited about the show, and that always makes me feel good when people, because the actors need that. You know, they yes they work so hard on this. Oh, they do. I mean, they're here hours and hours and hours a night just blood, sweat, and tears into these performances. And, right. You know, we come out here and give you our very best. Now, in Annie, you're going to have to have a dog. There will be a dog. <laughs> yes. we, we, we are auditioning for dogs as well. Oh. <laughs> That's so funny. You're auditioning for dogs. So if, if, if you've got a lovable butt and we can call her Sandy, <laughs> bring her down. <laughs> you're cute. Yeah, well, you have, a, you have a great attitude about this whole thing. How long have you been working in theater? About five years now. That's all? Yes. I remember I asked you that once before, and you came from a, I forget what field you were in before. I uh, used to do IT, a lot of web and graphics and computer repair. Um, well, been doing marketing for quite a while, but uh, I'm loving every minute here at the Playhouse. Right. I'm sure it's very different. You know, I mean, you're meeting very exciting people, <clears throat> and you're not having to sit at your computer. Right? Well, no, they keep me tucked away in here. I've got a TV <laughs> screen up where I can see the stage in front of oh, me. Oh, but, really? Uh, okay. I'm, I'm still, 
<laughs> still slaving away up in the office. Yeah, I know, but you're but you really are out there helping and all. Are you the one? Uh, do you produce all the brochures and and the uh, yes. everything that we see? Yeah, all us. the signage and artwork that you see is. Uh, oh, really? Hot off the press via my computer. So you're saying that the sister act uh, that we just got the the ad? Do you produce that? Yes. Oh, you're a talent. Hmm. I didn't know Thank that. You. Yep, I maintain the website for the Playhouse ah. and do all the, the marketing materials and brochures and anything oh. you see out there that has our logo on it. Uh, That's you. Commercials, we we uh, <laughs> film in house. I do the editing on those. And, you know, okay. There are a lot of hats over here. Yeah, I see that. Okay, well, it's wonderful talking with you, uh, Justin, and I can't wait to come to the first show. And thanks a lot for being, you know, such a loyal um, advertiser, and we're going to be loyal to you too, and help you in every possible way we can. Well, we always appreciate it. And I always uh, love talking to you, Anita. I thank you for doing these interviews with me. Yeah, I love that. And so I just want to make sure, and I'm just going to tell everybody, you've got a call to make uh, to make an appointment. And let me give you the name, not an appointment, to get your tickets. And your tickets are, you can call five six one, and that's of. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's uh, 586-6410? Yep, that's the number. Okay, that's it, everybody, and that's in Lake Worth. Make sure you see every single show. You'll love it. Thanks so much, Dustin. Take, uh, Justin, take care of yourself. Thanks, me. I'll talk to you soon. Good. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.